What is up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. Double Trouble, it's Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday night, media had access to two hours of spring football practice day. Let the overhyping begin of some videos that I watched today, and I'm already about to call for all Americans on Oklahoma with the videos I watched. Let the overhyping begin, Jeremy. Uh, that's what you do when you're in off season and you're ready for football. You see one little play and you just – you go with it, man. It looks so good. You were just ready to go, right? Well, Mez, Mez hasn't been uh, – didn't wait today to overhype because Mez has been saying 12-0 and 0 for a while. Correct. Uh, Jay, yeah, I saw a lot of video uh, video footage. I saw, uh, you know, the one-on-ones that were posted from the O-line to the D-line. Uh, I, I saw what Dean Blevins' thoughts were uh, just – uh, and then you, you, of course, saw the slinging uh, Jackson Arnold uh, was unreal. Yeah, he, he's different, like? Jay. He's different. Hey, I will say this. I watched today, and I'm going to bring it up first today because I know you usually bring up his name, but Dylan Gabriel. But just Jackson Arnold, the football, is it's just different coming out of his hands. That's a fact. And we've all thought that. Now, I've always just said we'll see about turnovers this year. I, that's all I've said. I think he's going to be an unbelievable quarterback at Oklahoma. Hey, one thing I will say that I thought that I thought what I saw today on some videos might be a little bit concerning. What do you think I'm going to say? O line. I saw Jaden Jackson. I saw David Stone. I saw Ethan Downs. All oh, and yes. They didn't really get to the quarterback, I would say, but Jeremy, they were bull rushing strength wise. They were bull rushing those guys. Uh, oh, well, that's now, a- I did see Heath Azida put somebody on their butt, which was great. Who was uh, uh, who was Ethan Downs beating, Jay, that you're referring to? Uh, Ethan Downs was because Stone was going against Ock and Kumi and just bull rushed him to booty. I'm trying to uh, remember. Who- or not Downs. Booty, whoever Everett, it was. Everett, got, Everett was against, I think, Halton, maybe. No, Everett no. was against Jaden Jackson. Yeah. And just Who got knows? And it's hard to know on this one-on-one all the time. I'm just saying, I think that's always been a concern is the strength of the O-line. Well, and so. One of the one of the concerns, I, I saw the uh, Brian Clinton, Jay, put that out that Everett got hurt today. Oh, really? Yeah. Bad? According to, and I don't want to just go off what people said, but that's all I have knowledge on is it, it was, he couldn't put weight on it. Now, I, I don't up, know. I, I'm What's just up? saying what Brian Clinton said. No Jay. idea on severity. It'd it, be it was, all, all speculation, Jay. The other thing that I've, I've seen on Twitter and people talking about, which I'm not going to buy into the hype yet because, not that I don't think the guy's good. I think he's unreal. The guy I'm getting ready to talk about. I think he's unreal. I think he should have played last year and he didn't. And you know who I'm going to say? Caleb Hicks. Caleb ah. Hicks last year in the offseason, Reggie Pearson, multiple players said this guy looks unreal. Never sniffed the field, right? And now again this year, you're hearing that, man, he just. So I hope. He can get some run this year because I think he's really, really good. I, I think yeah. he could be really elite talent. Could, Jay. But if Salchuk is and uh, Javante Barnes, we'll just see. But Cracker Max says doesn't look like Terry will be a starter. Terry, absolutely, who's Terry be. absolutely will be a starter, Cracker well, Max. I don't, you can't say who's going to be a starter at this point. Nobody Deshaun knows. Terry's going to start. You don't know that. Nobody knows, Jeremy. Yeah, I do. I'm saying 100% right now. You don't know. but I, I just yeah, said it, So They posted the hurdle okay? this year, but Pearson said he was doing that kind of stuff last year. Uh, I agree. Gavin Salchuk is RB1. But to me, there's a chance. Well, I, I can see a... a it happening where Hicks could jump to a number two. I, I think he's that good. Whether that happens, I don't know. I, I'm just saying, I think he's really good. Why do you not think – why do you think it's crazy to say DeJon Terry starting? I didn't say it's crazy. They're not going to start two true freshmen. I never said it's crazy. Don't at me. Why do you say at you? I don't – you always use that phrase. Jeremy, just move on. You. 
DeJon Terry will be a starter. And then I wouldn't be surprised if Jaden Jackson gets, I've said this before, as much as David Stone, Jay. We'll see. I mean, have you heard anything on Bates at center? Haven't. Neither have I. Neither have I. There it is. Bobby says everyone's saying Jaden getting to run with ones over Terry. Uh, hey, here's the one thing. We know from their high school days, David Stone and Jaden Jackson, they have very high goals, very high expectations, and they work their butts off. And those two guys, I, they got the They're talent. Different. And they look different a little bit, Jeremy, don't they? I said they are different. Hey, uh, also, another guy just off videos, uh, Devon Mitchell. Look, looks the part. Looks the part. Did you see his hands? He just uh, – it, it's – Dude, look. We're gonna call this. Real. We're gonna call tonight overhype Wednesday because I think everybody watching those videos say are are feeling like, oh, he's gonna win the Natty. I mean, that, it, it, we're so excited about football. Now, yeah, Anything, Kool Aid Wednesday, Jay. It's wacky Kool Aid Wednesday. It's a Kool Aid Wednesday. Go watch Mississippi State. They're putting videos out, and you're thinking, well, if you're a Mississippi State fan, you probably think they look all world too. That's what these videos do. Petaway's an interesting one. We talked a little bit about it last night. With I said with the Jackson Arnold connection, he was out there being a vocal leader today. It looked like leading leading before practice. Petaway, I think they're loaded. They're loaded at receiver. It's going to be interesting to see how they play him and, and how they play all these guys. Sooner legends saying pump the brakes, Jay. We'll pump the brakes tomorrow. Tonight we're over overhyping everything. Hey. I, I admit we're open. I just said I'm so excited for football that I'm going to overhype it. That's what I'm doing right now. That's what now, OU Jay, does every offseason, is it? I, Jay, this is not overhype right now. What I'm about to say is Jeremy, not let me ask you this. Okay, but let me ask you this. We weren't there. We're not media. We're not there to see it. But do you remember the days when you could go to, like, you, you would have the, maybe it was even high school, right? You go through the offseason. Oh, yeah. You show up for the first practice. You're like, these dudes are unbelievable. It's in your blood, dude. You haven't been to practice in six months or whatever it is. You get there and you're like, oh, my gosh, this guy looks different. He did last year. He's unworked. I think it's human nature, all right? It's overreaction Wednesday on the surge, Gary says. That's right. Hey, and Jay. I'm not saying that they are that great. I'm just saying that's that's what happens. Jay, but what? You get excited, guys. You, Jay, you, me, yeah. Uncle Ronnie. Uncle Ronnie, Jay, we used to go, and a lot of times we were right on those guys. Uh, now, I, I will say this, Jay, and this is not exaggerated. This isn't overhyped. Jackson's Arnold's arm, I challenge you to find two other guys who can, yeah. throw, who can throw it better than he can. There's no, there's no question his arm is NFL ready, I think. It's all going to be in. He hasn't got many starts yet. And I think that the experience factor is the only thing, Uncle Rico, it is. Uh, hey, Fung's hey, way, appreciate Fung's it. Way, uh, hey, yeah, we tried. thanks for the compliment. It, it's not easy every night. Like, we literally, I walked in about 929 to the house and got a big track meet tomorrow. So it's going to be an early morning. But uh, this is kind of my escape, too, to talk Sooner Sports hey. for 45 minutes. Hey, Braden, let me ask Casey you this. Thompson. Hey, Casey Thompson. Go not ahead, Jeremy. Practicing yet. Hey, Jeremy. Sooner fan says Jackson Arnold is going to be a number one overall draft pick. There, I said it. Let me ask this question: Better talent than Baker Mayfield? Yes or no? Absolutely. Better talent than Jalen Hurts? Yes Ar or no? Absolutely. That's that's what I'm saying. There's a good chance he's going to be a high draft pick now. If he now, if you were to say. Kyler Murray, I don't know if I would say that because of the legs. Kyler Murray had a cannon of an arm, too. Kyler Murray's arm's stronger than Baker Mayfield. Yeah. Uh, hey, appreciate that, Mike. Really do. Yeah. I'm not a big Hurts fan either, Hunter. So, there, I said it. Hey, one thing I think, one takeaway that I read on Twitter, I think it was from George Stoya that put it out. It, it might have been somebody. I think it was George Stoya, but. This is refreshing, and this is why I think the Zach Alley hire is huge, is the fact that Brent Venables was not with the linebackers all practice. He was roaming the field, baby. That's what a head coach needs Lurking. to do. 
He's lurking. He's lurking. And, Different and position Hunter. groups. Hunter, yes. I, I'm sick of you always coming at uh, me about Jalen Hurts. I don't give a rip on whether or not I'm a Hurts fan or not. I, I th The question was talent-wise. Talent-wise, Hurts does not have the arm that Jackson Arnold does. It's a fact. You might have to deal with it, Hunter. Hey, uh, Gary, 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 Jay and I, Love we work night shift. Man. Love me we some. work night shift. At Reesers. At one Reesers. time in my life, I did. Hey, hey. Uh, double fisting, two shots of crimson and cream hype juice. Sergio Hollicks, baby, drinking that Kool-Aid. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe hey. Wednesday should be only... Jay. Yeah. It's like you lagged or something. I can't tell when you're talking. It may look like I'm interrupting, but I don't know when you're talking. Uh, listen. Maybe Wednesdays is only for the Kool-Aid drinkers. Maybe so. And, and Blake, I think that Jerry's out on that. I don't think we know enough to a say lot that of, yet. Like, he's played one game. Yeah, we don't know, know, know enough to say either way yet. Best Kool-Aid flavor. Not uh, even Jay, you know what I'm saying. What? Great. Oh, I disagree. Absolutely. Fruit punch, yeah. baby. Hey, Gary wants Hot Take Thursday. I'm in. Hey, let's do that. Gary, great suggestion. Let's do that tomorrow. Hot Take Thursday. Hot Take Thursday. Hunter, work on the graphic. Maybe a fireball coming out of someone's mouth. Your mouth? Because you spit fire and it's all false, mostly. Okay, Jay. Uh, the Blake mystery flavor? Like Blake's saying the mystery flavor. Can you get better than Kool-Aid? It's like, how much is it now a package? I haven't bought it in years. I, Jay, I'll give you one. What? I, I'm going to give you the best kids drink and adult drink. Here it is. You ready? Sunny Delight. Tang. Oh, gross. That's for NASA, isn't it? Tang is unbelievable. Yeah, OU softball, they got a big series with Kansas ranked opponent. So, Iowa Sooner, it's because Hunter, Hunter thinks I'm a hater on Jalen Hurts. I like Jalen Hurts when he was here. Uh, I just didn't think he's Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray level. And, hey, hey, and listen, Iowa Sooner, I love it when people call me a hater. Bring it. I know I'm not. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Uh, Kenneth says, I'm beginning to not like that we don't bash other Sooners. I don't care if they play one year or however many. We are all Sooners. This is coming from a Sooner fan. What does are, that mean? Are you talking about Gabriel other or Sooner. I, I don't other Sooners? Uh, Kenneth, why don't you go ahead and explain what you mean by other Sooners? Uh, Kenneth kind of been quiet. Hunter, you don't offend me, bud. I just said I embrace the hate. Bring it. Stop sipping the haterade. Stop sipping the haterade. There's a drink for you. Hey, big orange. Uh, Tennessee's already, I thought Texas might get him. They may make a run to the final four. They look, uh, hey, Maybe. hey, this is right. Blake, Blake, Bash Green. I, you know what I want so bad is I want David Stone, somebody to line up on the other side of him and just beat him to the quarterback so bad. I can't wait for it. Cannot wait for it. Hey, I, I'm, I'm curious what other Sooners means. Uh, Kenneth, I'm waiting for your uh, response here on what other Sooners mean. Are you talking about other sports? Hey, Braden. Braden dropped it in there saying softball tomorrow. Three-game series Thursday, Friday, Saturday against the Kansas Jayhawks. Is it true that that's not going to be on ESPN Plus, Hunter? Because I thought it was. Kenneth is saying do not bash hey, Sooner. Kenneth? Kenneth. Okay. Look, I, I'm not going to lose it right now. Uh, but here's what I'm going to say, Kenneth. First off, I am an absolute Sooner diehard, Okay. Have been my entire life, okay? I'm going to, when you say bash Sooners, I don't personally attack any player. You're saying I, you, you bash their play, but you still like the person, individual. I like Dylan Gabriel as a person and an individual and as a teammate. I, I can bash, listen, guys, he got a million dollars to go play at Oregon. I can bash when I want. I have the freedom to bash. If I started attacking him personally, you guys should call me out. If I start attacking someone's personal characteristics, call me out. I don't do that. I'm bashing play. 
Ron, DJ and Farouk, I bash play and lack of big time plays. I don't bash them as a person. Okay. Well, I, I Kenneth is saying always treat all Sooners with respect. I think is what he's trying to say. But if if a guy's not playing good, any fan has the right to bash anybody on the team. I, I'm I'm sorry. I, I, we're not like throwing them under the bus or anything. No, and I, I just trying to call it as I see it, Jay. And, and listen, it, it, if you want to watch a channel where they're not going to bash anyone, this isn't the channel. I'm going to call it like it is when it's good and when it's bad. So uh, there you go. Chief T-Bird, having fun in Vegas. Been missing you on here. Hope you're having a good time. Vegas, nice. Hope you ate SGA some good food. SGA commercial is legit. Good actors. Athletes that are good actors aren't very, very prominent, Jay. Hey, in fact, I would say this. Criticizing bad play, I think change is not a bad fan. I think the word is passionate fan. I, I think criticizing is means you're passionate, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, Kenneth, do not bash any Sooner that wore that was the jersey uniform for the Oklahoma Sooner girls and boys. Okay, I'll I'll bash I'll bash someone's play if I want to. And the fact that they're getting paid, that does change things. I, I think that's part of also criticizing people's play when it, when it deserves criticism is not a, a negative, negative thing. Uh, Bobby says, I donated to the collective solely so I could criticize the team. Just kidding. Hey, uh, well, that's part of the, I mean, so what it comes down to if the if the fans are Hunter sick of it. Hunter doesn't like conflict. Jeez. We'll move on. Moving I'm on. With, I'm, I roll with what the chat says because I listen to the viewers. We'll talk whatever you guys want to talk about. A surgeaholic is passionate, correct. Bauer Sharps look very athletic with big hands. Sharp and Mitchell look great. Guys, the tight end room is different. Uh-oh, well, overhype. Here we go. Okay. I Listen. Overhype Wednesday. Jeremy, are they both going to win the uh, the best award for tight ends this year, in, in your opinion? No, but I they, mean, how many award just, winners do we got on this team so far? For, hey, how many how many award winners do we got from the videos to OU football put out today, you think? How many? Got an Outland Trophy award winner there? There's a lot, Jay. Uh, any big news so far for spring practice, Chief T-Bird? Yeah. Buy stock in the University of Oklahoma's football program, Chief T-Bird. It's for real. It's overhyped Wednesday, too. Hey, Sooner fan, it's overhyped Wednesday. Do we really want to talk about how they haven't won a natty in 24 years on overhyped Wednesday? Maybe hot take Thursday is going to be, I'm going to say they're going to win one this year. Eco Jar says, I can't wait to see this new offense. Hopefully it doesn't suck. That is my worst fear. And, hey, it's it's a fear that probably, whether people want to admit it or not, hey, nobody knows yet. Nobody knows what it's going to look like. It's going to look different, I think. I think it'll be better. I don't know if they'll average as many points a game, but I think they'll be a better offense. I've said that before. Caden uh, Helms, he, got, he talked to the media after practice. Yeah, I don't think he'll be best tight end. Uh, Sooner fan, you want to talk about not winning a natty in 24 years because you're getting tired of people accepting mediocrity. I haven't accepted mediocrity. I don't think a lot of people on here accept mediocrity. Uh, Eric says, fruit best wide receiver for Yak. He's a tough physical runner and fights through contact. That's why he was used at running back occasion, which was a mistake to use him at running back. But I do agree with you, Eric. I think he is really good with the ball in his hands if he can hang on to it. That's the problem. Can he hang on to it? Kyla says healthy Helms is the best tight end. Uh, let me say this. I think – We've never Kaden seen him Helms, play, let, Jay. Let, let me say this. I, let me finish talking before you just jump in there and, and say something like you use it. I can't tell you. Uh, Caden Helms – there it is again. Caden Helms, physical guy, looks really good for the part, but – I've also seen Bowers Sharp and Devon Mitchell that looks pretty good on the part, too, just by looking at him. So, I don't know. I think that room is uh, pretty talented, actually. 
Jake uh, Roberts. Yeah. Jake Roberts. I I don't know about Jake Roberts, Jeremy. Yeah, it, Hunter, you're right. I can't tell. He's like a, one of those movies. His lips are moving. I can't hear anything. Am I lagging? Person. I think you're lagging. Maybe the viewers can help us out. All right, let's get to it. Let's, hey, let's get to it. There it is. Ron says, when the mouth is moving, and sound is coming out. He's talking. Thanks, Ron. Not that difficult, is it? Hey, uh, let's get going with this question, and let's do it. People, drop them in the chat right now. Who starts at D-line? Four. Give me four guys, Jeremy, starting four, if you go four. Are we talking two edge rushers? Yeah, two ends and two middle. Who are you going with right now? After the, e For the e overhyped e Wednesday, best D-line in the country. Who you got? I think Ethan and PJ. Woolard, Woolard's going to be close right there. And I think in the middle, it's Terry and Stone. I think they're going to go with the freshman. Now, it could be Jackson, though, but I'm going to say Stone. Terry and Stone in the middle. PJ and Downs. I agree with Sooner fan. Bobby's got Woolard, Jackson, Halton, and Downs. I can see Halton being rewarded, too. I think Halton's a feisty guy. I think he's very energetic. What about his size? I mean... You concerned at all? No, I'm not. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you did offer Carter today. Uh, you know, basically, we haven't talked about it, but Landon Rink uh, is committing on, I can't remember the day, April. Uh, I'd have to look it up. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's coming up. And he's visiting an A&M. It doesn't really look great for Oklahoma there. Uh, so they did offer Carter today, a four-star. So, yeah. How many years of football at Oklahoma? How many new uh, – I was trying to see what Kim said. How many new quarterbacks? I think the coaches know how more than the fans. Oh, no, we're going to fall flat on our face. Uh, just commenting about that other comment. Uh, Gary says, P.J. Halton, Terry Downs to start. P.J. Stone, Jackson, Okoye by Tennessee. Okoye is kind of quietly – Falling under the radar for a little bit. Have you noticed that, Jay? How? Because he wasn't in a video? No. Then what do you mean? Not a lot of people have talked about him, Jay. Hey, if you remember right, when, when this happened, Chief, when this happened with Jonah Williams, what did I say? I said, I don't think anything's happening very soon. This guy's a five-star. It's going to be drawn out, I think. So, hey, this is I an hold area my breath we have. Yeah. See, I can, I can tell if you're talking, you're lagging. This, this is an area that we don't know yet. I don't know if they're going to play an H-back, a fullback. I haven't seen enough yet. Have, I, I don't think we, we have that information yet. And that's a good point, Blake. That is a good point. Uh Let's talk about Okoye. What about Okoye? I think Okoye, I think Okoye is really, really good. And I think he's special. He's a freak athlete. He's going to demand being on the field because he's so athletic. And he's going to be a guy who can get to the quarterback as a true freshman, I think. You know a he guy that I want back and go. One guy. One guy that I watched here earlier today on a video, and I'm super pumped about him, Jaco Jacoby Johnson. I mean, that dude looks like a defensive back, like a real certified defensive back. It's overhyped Wednesday. He may win Thorpe Award, guys. I mean, he's that good. I, I tell you what, I like Monty Ward. I'm being, uh, I'm being facetious, by the way. I know. I, I get that, Jay. You don't have to tell me. Monty. I'm all for Bauer at H back. I know he can block and he can catch, okay? And he can run, I think. Yeah. And somebody said it earlier, Hunter, but the fact on these videos that the D-line was bull rushing some of these guys, as much as you want to say, come on, O-line, step up, it could be the D-line's really good. They were, by the way, the power line. They were, these guys, some of these guys we mentioned, we saw in the video say, were top recruits so isn't that what you get with top recruits jeremy 
Yeah, I, I honestly, it just seems. I I think it's different this year, Jay. I, I really do. Chad, as always, too, Caleb Hicks. Chad, <laughs> as always, appreciate you so much appreciate for being it. on here and giving supers like this. We do appreciate it. Seriously. Uh, who starts on O-line protecting Jackson Honor? Well, Everett went down today. A lot of people thought Everett was starting. I'm going to go with, if I had to pick it today again, golly, I'm not sure about Spencer Brown on the, on the, on the uh, tackle position. I'm going to say Sexton's for sure going to start. I'm going to go with Fabetchi for sure is going to start. Uh, and, and I agree, Hunter. We don't know severity. I'm not saying we do. Never said we did. Fabetchi, I think I'm going to lock him in. Lock. I'm going to lock Sexton in. Okay. Uh, outside of that, are there any other locks? I, I thought Bates was, but I haven't heard anything on Bates, Jay. Uh, so I don't know if Bates is going to be a lock. Tarquin, I don't think, is a starter. I don't think so. Did you mention oh, I had to leave and join back? Maybe it's a better connection now. I'm hey, gonna Heath yeah, Azida. Heath Azida. Heath Azida, I think, starts and Spencer Brown starts. So there's four and maybe Bates at center, Jay. I, I know, know you don't like Spencer. Spencer Brown. I don't think Spencer Brown will start, in my opinion. Uh I Sexton, do know one thing, Jay. Sexton and Ozida. Yeah. And Jake, Ta Jake Taylor's a guy that might. Possibly. Chief T-Bird, thanks. I hope you're enjoying Vegas. Chief T-Bird, uh, been missing you on here. Thanks for the super. The more you hear about players in the spring, the less likely we'll hear from them in the fall. If you hear nothing, it might say volumes. Now, that's If you base that on years past, you're correct. Hey, he's preaching right now. Hey, hey, I could go with what Bobby says here and I'd be okay. If it was Sexton, Fabecci, Bates, Azida, Taylor, yes, a lot of inexperience, but I think there's some talent there. Here's so what, what about Hatchet? Say. Here's I, I don't know what this injury. Here's what I would say. Whoever you pick, I think it's very, 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 very important that these guys play a lot the first three or four weeks and they're not rotating a ton on the offensive line because they're all very inexperienced. Yeah, but here's the deal. Hatchet, Hatchet's got some big time experience. If yeah, you ask Jaden Rose, Rose out right there right now, looks good. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell when you're talking, dude. I, I'm struggling tonight. Uh, Ever equals Schmidt. In other words, a bust is what you're saying, Ron. Look. I've said it. I wasn't super high on him, but he seems to have gained some weight. Seems to be all bought in. I think Jay's frozen again. Golly, Jay. Unbelievable. Uh, Kim says, Bill Biedenbo will put no line on the field that will succeed. He seems to be extremely good at his job. Absolutely does. And listen, I think they got some dudes. I, I am high on Garen Hatchett. Maybe I'm one of the ones that is. Uh, but I don't know. I, that's going to... The depth is there, and the fact that they're going against these types of D1, uh, five-star, four-star defensive tackles speaks well, and it should help them. Jimmy says Hatch will be the starting center this fall. Sooner Legends podcast, thanks. Appreciate that compliment. Really I does. You've got your own really podcast as well, growing. I'm talking about Garen Hatchett, Bobby, not playing center. I'm talking about Garen Hatchett in general. Landon Hatchett's the one that plays center. He's not at OU. Correct. That's Garen Hatchett, I'm very high on, though. Yeah, I. he he at least has some experience. That's the thing about it. Yeah, hit and the I, like button, please. I'm going to say something on Overhype Wednesday right now, Jay. You ready? Okay. I watched George Stoyer's Twitter of the one-on-ones, okay? I saw David Stone against Akin Kumi, right? Yeah. I I, I saw uh, straight up the gut Jaden Jackson on, on, on Everett, okay? I saw Nigel Smith on Spencer Brown. Two of the three got bull rushed. Now, l listen, I know people are like, oh, they had six seconds. They couldn't hold their ground against freshmen. 
It's a fact. That, that that's why earlier tonight when I said that it was based off the strength is because when you go the into strength. the SEC, when you go into the SEC, those boys on the defensive line they're strong, strong boys, and uh, you can be nasty, you can be fighter all you want if you don't have the strength to hold up, they will eat your lunch over in the SEC. Will they not? It's what it seems to be doing, Jay. They seem to do that pretty well. Sooner fan says Tory Blake on Friday. Yeah. Correct. Sounds like it. Yeah. I don't disagree with this mess. I think there's a good chance they land him. It uh, all depends on what's happening at Washington right now with the new staff. Well, not much is going to happen at Washington, I don't think. If Everett were to be out for an extended period of time, they'd need to get someone out of the portal. Hey. Eugene Brooks would maybe have to go to center. Hey, yeah, Jackson taking people out. Ron says... Stone isn't what I would call strong. Uh, I'm I'm confused. Well, Ron, how strong are you? How are strong you, are you, Ron? Are you talking about you wouldn't be considering that big as a defensive lineman? He's strong, though. Yeah, he's stronger than what they got there currently. Now, Coe would I, – I will say this with Ron. Coe Co was very, very strong, as was Lualu, Lualu Jonathan Lualu. As you can see in the in the pro day, Jay. So, with, with, hey, here, they didn't have the speed though. Hey, here's a fact, Jeremy. Where do you get your star ratings at? High school games, more likely, or camps? Camps. So Stone's five star, one of the top D line in the nation. He looked good in camps too against really good talent. He he he. That's why when people say, I don't know if I expect a whole lot from Stone first year. Guys, he's he's a beast. He's a five star defensive hey, lineman. Listen, he played at IMG. He the strength, guys. The strength and conditioning is not like it was in 1990 or 95 or 2000. These high schools. Go look at Bigsby High School. Their strength. We've had multiple people on the show, in the media. Uh, who is it? A uh, uh, TJ Eckert. TJ Eckert. Their strength and conditioning program. Is unbelievable. Why do you think they're winning natty, uh, winning state championships every year? The strength and conditioning of high school guys. People are coming into college. They're enrolling early. They're ready as far as strength wise. A lot of them are. Some of them aren't, but a lot of them are. Hey, Mez, I'm going to say this because of what you said here. Yeah, if you look at the tape, which is actual proof, he wasn't actually using his moves. It was all strength. Second of all, Chad. It appears in listening, uh, Chad had a comment here. Chad, it appears that hearing from Javante Barnes on his interview the other day, him actually saying it, he sounds like he's ready to go. He sounds like he's feeling good. Sounds well, like he's healthy. It sounds like he need, wasn't at all last year. He's going to need to be healthy because I think Caleb Hicks is ready to go, right? From what it looks right. like. I and mean, the guy was leaping over a guy in Overhype Wednesday, you know what I mean? So uh, hype, yeah. He rushed his recovery, Barnes said, is what Sooner fan says. Hey, Jay, got to get a trivia right now. You know hey, what real, it is. Let's go. I, I don't even know the trivia yet. I think Hunter has I it. I got hey, it. I got it. Okay, real quick. Let me get to Eric's comment, and then we'll go with trivia. But, Eric, what did Hicks do last year? Hey, I'm and I'm not saying that every five stars the same either. There are some five stars that don't pan out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not at Texas a and I I don't know why he didn't play or what he didn't do. I, I don't really talk about the Aggies. I just think I know Stone's pretty dang good. Hey, Jay, after the trivia, with this comment, I heard Stone made Chuck Norris wet, the, wet himself. I think we ought to drop all kinds of overhype Chuck Norris comparison to OU players here in a second. Uh, but So everyone think of yours right now. This will be elite. The question, Jay, you got it or me? You do. Okay, listen, uh, Caleb Hicks is number zero, correct? So is David Stone. Correct. Last running back to wear zero, double zero uh, at the University of Oklahoma. Name it. Other than Eric Gray? Other than Eric, prior to Eric Gray, yes. Sorry, I, I meant to say that. Prior to Eric Gray, zero or double zero. Prior to Eric Gray, you're going to have to go back a little here. 
this right up Sooner Legend podcast alley, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I think you have to go way back on this. If I think this is way back. Not in the 21st century. That is Wait, correct, Hunter. Hunter saying, you know who it is. Hunter saying not a running back. Hunter looked it up for us. Hunter, Hunter did the research. not a running back, though. Oh, it wasn't a Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I got to change the question then, Jay. You baffled him, and You busted it. Jeez. Two-sport athlete. Yes, two-sport athlete. It's, okay, offensive player, okay? Number zero, not in the 21st century, double zero. Played quarterback, right? Hunter, confusing. let's give him another hint. Played Major League Baseball. Billy, Billy White, Sue Johnson, not it. Also, Eric Moore was number one, Sooner fan. Eric Moore were in number one. Bad lefty quarterback. Don't Ricky, take I'm a little confused to too, head. buddy. Every time, Jeremy, every time I give a trivia, it's confusing, Jay. That's what I do. Yeah. Was, was not minor. No one's going to get it. We could be going all night with this. Sooner Legend Sooner Legend podcast. I'm counting on you here. Back in the 30s. How about that, Jay? You, Yvonne Sean. Nope. Not Ross Coyle. Moore probably did run a 4940. Wait, it Hunter said was on OU's 1951 OU World Series team. Kyla says on you from now on, Jay. Please, yeah. I, hey, I think Hunter, one, how did he play one night for the off World from Trivia? I think one Hunter, night off from Trivia, and look what happens. Hunter, how did he play for the World Series in '51 for OU? If he played in the 30s, I'm confused now myself. This Not Danny like, Hodge. Jeez, this is the most confusing trivia I've ever seen in my life. Dude. I thought you did say he played. New question. Jeez. Give him a new question, Jay. I'll give him a new question. My goodness, this is ridiculous. Uh, Go to Sooner Stats, he says. It's not Buster Mills. Oh, look at this one, Jay. Yeah. Every time G Freaky tries to catch a punt, Chuck Norris is frozen with fear. Give everyone a point. Give everyone a point, huh? It's overhyped Wednesday. Give everyone a point. Everybody on here gets a point? It's not Jeff Cross. New question, Jay. New question. This one's going to be easy. Very okay. quick. You're, I'm going to do, since y'all screwed this freaking trivia up so bad, I'm going to give everybody an easy question. Before you do, if someone gets that point, oh, there it is. Hunter, 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 put, Hunter put the answer in. What a joke. This is the worst trivia I've ever seen in my life. Go Please. ahead, Jay. Wow. Hey, let, let me do this right away. Before we get to trivia, go to thefanstop.com. Check out, look at you rolling your eyes at me. It's hilarious, Jeremy. Check out. Fanstop.com, use code SURGE, you'll get 10% off your first three months. And by the way, they just donated th over $3,000 to the Toby Keith Foundation for the Red Cup Solo Cup shirt that y'all bought and people bought. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, check it out. Here's the question. For an easy question, guys, this year, 2024, defense, who's wearing number 19? Go. Easy peasy, boys and girls. This is how you do trivia, Jeremy. Pay attention closely with this. This is how you do trivia, Jeremy. Okay? Dez is 12. Dez is 12. Eric Stryker did wear 19. But he's not back. So there it is. Jacoby Johnson, number 19 for the Oklahoma Sooners, 2024. Uh, deep in the back, baby. There, that's how you do trivia, Jeremy. Did you learn anything tonight? Hey, don't call I me. I learned something. I learned something. I can't take a night off from trivia. That's what I learned. Don't call me at nine twenty nine, walking in saying, "Jeremy, I can't do trivia tonight. I don't have one." You said you had one. 
You said I you didn't got come it. up with that. That was your question. You got it, is what you said. You came up with the question, not me. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Absolutely did. Hey, guys, uh, Chajoki on a gun to get you. Listen, I want so, let's let's start with the Chuck Norris stuff, guys. It's overhyped Wednesday. Let's over last five Wednesday. minutes hey, roll with it. Overhyped Wednesday. Does Jackson Arnold throw for more than 7,000 yards this year or not? No, that, that's a little too much, Jay. I was kidding. It was a joke. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Mike! Mike! That's, that's the best one of the night. That is so good, Mike. Golly, dude. That's one of the greatest. Oh, uh, the Surgeaholics coming through with the Chuck Norris. Stuff. Surgeaholics. Uh, wait, one of the blanking chips. Well, Josh is at BA still. Look at Chief uh, dropping it. Is it a, is it a Adam Blankenship? I, I can't remember which one it is. Look at he Chief. used to be at Noah. He used Chief to be says, at Noah, I believe. Chief says Chuck Norris wears a Danny Sussman jersey for internal courage. There you go. I like that, Chief T-Bird. Sooner Legend might have to get a point for that. I, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty dang good, Mike. Oh, yeah. What's Chuck Norris doing these days? I, I got a good one for you guys. You ready? Overhyped Wednesday. Even Jeremy getting on it. Here we go. Jalil Farouk ran into Chuck Norris, and Chuck Norris fumbled the ball. How about that? Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, does Jay get 4,000 yards? Uh, yes, absolutely. Wow. Jay. That's, That's 100 a more than Dylan Gabriel, if you're counting. Jay, what's funny is you actually called me today, and you said you saw you. I'm I, Don't get mad here, Jay. I'm going to get mad because I know what you're going to say. You don't want me to say it, then okay, I won't. No, go ahead, go go ahead and say it. Chuck Norris walks out of Hollywood. Ron Brown, there we go. Go ahead and say it, Jeremy. I said you called me and said you saw Dylan Gabriel posting video of him throwing the ball like on his Instagram or something. You said it didn't even look like Jackson Arnold's. I've always said Jackson Arnold's way better arm than Dylan Gabriel, Jeremy. So stop. You you I'm know what you're going to do all year long, Arnold. First Lee game, those, no. Or Arnold th those for 700 yards and eight touchdowns first game. You're like, told you he's pretty good, Jason. I never said he not. All I'm saying is that you can't, without him playing but one game as a starter, you can't say he's going to come out there and be uh, not going to have any turnovers or you have any problems at all. Cool. It's annoying. You you take things that you, you change words a little bit, I've noticed. <laughs> I'm not Wow. I'm not that. I'm I'm a I'm a Jackson Arnold fan. I love Jackson. I think he's gonna be all world. I said you did. I can still be hesitant with he could turn it over first few games, big games. Okay. That doesn't mean I think he's a bad quarterback. Some kids pee their name in the snow. Chuck Norris and Billy Bowman can pee their name in the concrete. <laughs> uh T Bird. Wait, did somebody, wait, did somebody did Kim say that Chuck Norris is 90? That's not right, is it? No. Hey, Alan, Alan, tomorrow's Hot Take Thursday, I think we're going to go with. Gary Wolford wants Hot Take Thursday. I'm fine with Hot Take Thursday. Bring your hot takes, baby. He is not 84 years old. There is no way. It's overhyped Wednesday. They're all saying that. He's not 80. Yeah, he's like 65, isn't he? Jack Bayer was the answer. Jack Bauer from 24. Jay, our dad was born in 1940. Yeah, They're, our the dad's 84. They're the same age, dude. Golly, Chuck Norris, man. I hey, Jay, you know what's crazy? What? Chuck Norris was born the same year as dad. And people in the hospital called him Chuck Norris S and Bionic Man of all the stuff hey, he's been. Last That's question crazy. of the night right here. Trivia. One question. Who was who was Chuck Norris's right hand man on Walker, Texas Ranger? What was his name? Oh my goodness. What was his name, Jay? I can see him. I think one of the Surgeaholics will get it. Hunter, you're gonna oh, have to keep up with this trivia. Someone'll get it. 
Yeah, Chuck Norris definitely has a Smitty story. Is okay. he in a wait, he's not in a wheelchair, is he? I didn't know that. Jay. Sorry to hear that, Mike. Uh Jay. Yeah. Eric says, uh, keep it real Friday. I kind of like that. Where was Chuck Bor Norris born? Do you know? Was he born? <laughs> was he born? No, you didn't get it, Jay. Uh, I don't know where he was born, but uh, Jay, keep it real Friday. What do you think? He was born in Oklahoma. I thought it was Oklahoma. Ryan, Oklahoma. Ryan, Oklahoma is what Hunter says. Yeah, I see the wow. name Gil Gilliard. But what was his name? There it is. I think I think right here. Dalpos may be the first one, James or Jimmy Trevette. But I don't know who was the first one. We'll look it up tonight and see and give him a point. Uh, Hey, Jay. When the, when the boogeyman goes to sleep every night, he checks his closet for Chuck Norris under the bed for Jackson Arnold. Hey, listen. Tonight tonight was the first ever overhyped Wednesday. I think we're going to stick with it. I like uh, it. Tomorrow's going to be Hot Take Thursday. And Friday, we may do Keep It Real Friday. Uh, anything that will get us closer and help the time go on to April 20th in the spring game. Sergeaholics, appreciate you. I like hey. it, Eric. I like I'll, it. I bring facts every night, Eric. Facts. Uh, I like listen, it. Uh, Chad Gamble, thanks for the $5 super. Chief T-Bird, thanks for the $4.99 super. Appreciate all the Surgeaholics on here, as always. Uh, great night tonight. Make sure you hit the like before you leave this chat. Hit the like. It helps us out. Again, shout out to Fanstop. Join up on the Shirt of the Month Club. You'll get a shirt every month. You get 10% off if you use codes. Code Surge, okay? And and listen, uh, again, kudos to Fanstop for the donation to the Co Toby Keith Foundation. We're going to be posting on, on our Twitter tonight. Thanks so much. We'll see you all tomorrow night for Hot Take Thursday. Boomer. Sooner. Chuck Norris, fears OU.